we grow and study algae for the purposes of producing biofuels. That's our mission, is to produce low-cost, large-scale, commercially viable uh, algae to biofuels. My interest in algae is, is to help solve our energy problem in America. At some point in the future, we'll run out of fossil diesel. Our domestic production of oil certainly has peaked in 1972, and there is this concern that, and, and people argue about the time frame, but there will be peak oil at some point in the future. The question is, is it 10 years away or 40 years away? But regardless, you know, the fact that we're shipping so much money overseas is what got me saying, looking at alternative energies. And in particular fuels, our transportation system is so dependent in the United States on, on these fuels, on gasoline and diesel. I think algae has a, a huge potential. It helps with food price stability because it doesn't uh, interfere with food supplies. It helps with uh, energy price shocks because we're now uh, producing those domestically. It reduces our oil imports. And if you use it with certain types of wastewater and things of that nature, you can also uh, reclaim uh, or improve uh, water quality. They've been working on algae for many, many, many years, different DOE programs. But the idea that it could really be commercially viable and we could have large-scale domestic production of biofuels, that's relatively new. I mean, this is only four to five years that people have really thought, oh, I can, we can do this with algae. To grow algae, what we would do would be to go out into, into the wild, to, to a lake or a, a natural stream, collect a sample, add more water, add more nutrients, and grow it up to a larger volume. Then what we do is what we call harvesting. We'll pump this into a tank, and then from the tank, we will run it through a centrifuge, just a rapidly spinning bowl. And as the bowl spins at a high rate of speed, the heavier particles adhere to the outside. What you end up with is a thick algae, sort of like a, a pancake batter is the way I like to describe it. From this, you would want to dry it. The way we do it here is we solar dry it, so we lay it out, we'll spread it out at a certain thickness, we'll let it dry for 24 hours. We would run it through a, a grinder, we want to grind it down into, the, into powder form. It's hard to believe that uh, you know, there's actually oil in here to extract, it looks awful dry. From there, we run it through our, our one-step oil extraction process, and as a result, this is, this is the oil that would come out. Our goal is to go from two acres this year to next year 100 acres, and, and hopefully even by 2012 or 2013, we'd like to be have thousands of acres of algae under cultivation. One of the reasons why this is happening at Utah State University is to get on the forefront of one of the next generation fuel activities. For me, algae takes all the pieces and they fit together in a very nice package that really can be commercially viable and compete with fossil, fossil fuels. That's why I get excited about it. Mm -hmm.